Okay. All right. Wow. Wow, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so I was really actually gonna film a pregnancy update at 30 weeks. I filmed it, edited it, and then realized when I exported it, it wasn't in the right format. <laughs> So I was just like, ah, like at that point, I was like, I was already in a rut, and then that happened, and then I just kind of gave up on it. And now, since I'm at home a lot more, like I've cut back my work hours, I'm wanting to get back into filming and uploading videos. It's just been a really weird year for YouTube and for social media in general. So it's just. I've kind of just decided like, you know, it was time to just take a few weeks from YouTube, not worry about uploading anything and just tune in to what is going on in the world right now. So did that and um, thought a lot and learned a lot. So. Here we are, and I'm filming my 32 weeks pregnancy update. We just had our baby shower. We did a drive through baby shower. Not a lot of people, you know, were invited, but um, like the close, like family and stuff was invited. So that's, you know, it was fun. And it was, I'm really blessed that I had everybody come that did and all the gifts that I got and stuff like that so I'm just really happy really thankful and baby is gonna be here in like seven to eight weeks hopefully hopefully he doesn't come late I really want him like he needs to come early mama's got a schedule he needs to come early <laughs> or on time but yes uh, I go to the doctor Friday um, June 12th for like uh, I guess just a regular visit my OBGYN I guess she's gonna check baby's heartbeat I'm gonna ask her if I can find out like what position he's in and stuff like if he's starting to turn I think he is because I'm definitely feeling his feet in my ribs a lot more now like y'all it's insane the baby, babies and everything, the whole process is just crazy and mind-blowing and I can't believe I have seven to eight weeks left. I'm just letting it sink in. But if you guys like this video and you like when I talk about pregnancy and babies and stuff like that, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And leave a comment down below if you are a mama, if you're pregnant, how far you are, and what is the most scariest thing for you. Because the most scariest part for me is that I am now responsible for a little me, a little husband and me, like a little mini me of me and him. I'm responsible for this person for like next 18 years granted once they get a certain age they're going to be making their decisions on their own and at that point it is up to me to guide them to make the right ones the right decisions but anyways so let's get into this update and let me talk to you about you know some stuff i've been feeling and like stuff that's happening in my body and See if you guys can relate, I guess. <laughs> so I kind of like have some notes, of course, to help guide me along the way in this video. But, um, so the last ultrasound that we had, which I'll insert a picture here. The last ultrasound we had, he was, I believe, I was 28 weeks or 30 weeks. I was 30 weeks. I was almost 30 weeks when I had that ultrasound and he weighed, um, I think I was 29 weeks, yeah, 29 weeks and he weighed 3 pounds and he was looking good. Um, they told me that I didn't have to get any more ultrasounds. 
Um, most people don't really get that ultrasound. Uh, I got it because I take medication for like anxiety and depression and stuff like that. So um, the medicines that I take doesn't have any effects on the baby, like, but they just like to make sure just in case. Because when you're taking medicines and stuff, you never know. You really don't. So uh, I was okay with seeing him. I was okay with getting another ultrasound. And then I think at my last OBGYN visit, she did say that um, that if I don't start gaining weight, which has been another thing that has been an issue <laughs> for myself, which we'll get into that. Um, she said that if I don't start gaining weight, then uh, they might possibly have to do another ultrasound just to make sure that he is gaining weight and that he's growing and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm still, we'll talk about weight gain. I'm still riding between 128 and 130. Like I can't seem to get over 130 and I'm hoping Friday that when I go I weigh over 130 because I originally started out weighing 140 pounds when I first found out that I was pregnant and went to the doctor in December of last year and when I got sick in January. Um, if you haven't heard about that, I think I talked about it a little bit in some of my other pregnancy update videos. I'll link them down below so you guys can kind of follow along. But um, yeah, the weight just fell off of me when I got sick in January and uh, I still have not gained it back yet fully. So the lowest I got down to I think was 126, 127. I lost 13 pounds. So now I'm just riding, you know, 127 to 130, which is good, I guess, in ways. Like, I won't have a whole lot of, like, baby weight to lose. But at this point, like, I'm not even worried about losing weight after he's born. I'm just worried about, you know, getting him, you know, just worried about making sure that he's okay, that he's continuing to grow and gain weight. Because he needs to be, you know, healthy and... I don't know. In the ultrasound pictures, his face kind of looks like it's going to be kind of kind of chunky. Like he's got chunky cheeks, so maybe he'll have chunky legs. I don't know. But anyways, so we'll just talk about some symptoms really fast. Um, I haven't had any morning sickness. I haven't gotten sick since like the fourth month of my pregnancy, thankfully. Um, I do still get like waves of nausea. Sometimes at night, and um, I think a lot of it has to do with the horrible heartburn that I get. The horrible heartburn, and also like maybe just like nerves and the anxiety part of stuff that I have going on. I think that makes me feel nauseous sometimes. So, and also like if I just get like overtired over I start to not feel as good so nothing too bad though I haven't excuse me haven't gotten sick anymore thankfully I can actually brush my teeth now without uh, struggling to not gag on the toothbrush <laughs> um, so yeah that's good uh some other really exciting but also like tmi information uh i think i think and i hope and i pray i really pray and hope that this means that i'm going to be able to breastfeed because i really want to and i want to breastfeed as long as possible because formula is expensive and I really would just prefer to not spend money on formula if I don't have to or at least not until like you know I would like to breastfeed for at least a couple of months you know that would be the ideal goal at least two months of breastfeeding and that is really good for the baby but the TMI part is now my boobs are 
are starting to uh, leak, I guess. <laughs> um, one day I was just like, I don't know. When you're pregnant, your boobs itch. Like that's, that's just me being real, they itch. And so one day I was going to the bathroom or going into the bathroom, not going to the bathroom, but going into the bathroom. And I was fixing to change clothes. And so, you know, it was like, kind of itches a little, and I'll scratch it. And uh, then I noticed that <laughs> I was just like, what is this stuff coming out? I was like freaking out. I was like, am I gonna have to go to the doctor? Like, I've never seen this before. Like, does this mean I'm gonna be able to breastfeed? Like, there were so many emotions and thoughts going on inside my head when I saw that, because I've never seen that. And that happened when I would turn when I was 30. That happened at 30 weeks. So I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, hopefully this continues and hopefully it means that I'll be able to breastfeed. <laughs> but no worries, I guess, if I can't. I mean it I know this happens to some people, they leak and then the milk supply just never continues, like it doesn't come in fully and you can't like feed your baby enough so hopefully that you know I, I can do it hopefully um yeah so and then also like I'm having a little bit of Braxton Hicks I think like I'll have random sharp pains in my back and pelvic area which I think is what people call lightning crotch I don't know like I always heard of lightning crotch as like a joke almost but like it's an actual thing uh, <laughs> I'll insert definition here <laughs> for you guys let's just make this a, a learning video but yeah um, so that is I experience pain that way where it's like pressure from him moving and I guess just the way he situates himself he lays down and then my growing area like between my thighs that mus those muscles right there they hurt too um weirdly like oddly I'm, i didn't think that that would happen but yeah that hurts right there sometimes the inner thighs um also my last visit that i went to um I had to do like the uh, the diabetes, gestational diabetes test and a whole bunch of other tests and they tested like my hemoglobin and my um, red, blood cell count, red blood cell count and both of those were low so uh, when she calculated everything um, I was my hemoglobin and red blood cells it was at a 10.6 and you are considered anemic at 10.5 when you are pregnant in the second and third trimester. So I was like, ew, that's not good. She was like, yeah, you might want to start taking some iron supplements to just go ahead and get your iron back. And honestly, like it has helped. I kind of noticed that I was out of breath a lot when I would work and go up and down stairs and just get tired a lot easier. I have more energy now. So now that, you know, I'm taking iron, I can feel the difference. Um, some days I have a lot more energy than others. And, and cause like this week, like Monday, I was really energetic and could, I did a whole lot of stuff. Kind of overdid it, I think, because that night I was super tired and then the next day I was completely exhausted like I, I just had my little spurt of energy and then overdid myself and then I needed to just spend the next day like resting and relaxing and not doing too too much so um so yeah we kind of caught that we caught the becoming anemic like really quickly which was really good I'm really thankful for that um, so 
along with my other vitamins and stuff that I'm taking, prenatals, I'm also taking an iron supplement now. Um, my cravings, oh my gosh. So they have completely switched. Um, the first trimester, I wanted nothing but apples, nothing but apples. Couldn't eat anything sweet at all. Cupcakes, donuts, all that, it was just too sweet tasting. And now this, now that I'm in the third trimester and I can eat just about anything, I want cookies, which reminds me, I bought some Toll House cookie dough and I'm going to make some cookies here soon <laughs> before I even eat dinner. But um, they're really good. <laughs> cookies are so good. I get a cookie every day at Chick-fil-A when I work. Um, but fruit also has changed for me. I don't really care for apples anymore. It's all about the strawberries, grapes, and watermelon. I freaking love all three of those. All of them together is really great. Or strawberries and uh, grapes mixed together are really good with a little bit of sugar. Mm, it's so, so good. And then I like spicy stuff. Stuff that has flavor. Has a kick to it. Um, I even got a barbecue sandwich from Cookout the other day. I was like, who am I? Because I don't like barbecue. I don't eat barbecue at all. And I wanted some. I don't know. I guess because I'm getting tired of eating the same meat because when you're pregnant, you can't get your steak cooked any other way. But well done. So I don't eat steak and I don't eat hamburgers because just about everywhere I go, they don't cook them right. Uh, I'll get a hamburger at cookout, but other than that, like I've just been eating, I've just been eating chicken, and I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> so maybe that's why I wanted barbecue. I don't know, but cupcakes with the whipped icing and donuts. Oh. I just, all the sweet stuff. Basically everything that I couldn't eat in the first trimester because it would make me feel nauseous or sick. Um, the one thing that I have been wondering is like, how do all these other pregnant women, like they eat pickles when they're pregnant. I can't eat pickles. I, the first trimester when I ate a pickle, I got sick. And my second trimester I tried eating a pickle and I got the world's worst heartburn it was like a like I could have gotten sick from that heartburn basically so I just can't eat pickles they don't do well with me a lot of other things give me heartburn but since I've had that one bad experience with pickles I just stay away from pickles and some people told me to put it in ice cream but I just I don't know. I don't see that helping me out, but maybe one day I'll try it. Who knows? Baby, I think right now is the size of a, I think, a cabbage? No, he's as big as a cantaloupe. And we did pick out a name. Uh, I'll reveal that name in like a video maybe with him or a later on like a more closer to the old time type of video that made no sense at all so that basically wraps this video up I hope everybody is having a great day since I mentioned the cookies I really want to go make some now and I'm gonna go do that Hope you all uh, enjoyed watching this video. Let me know down below some of your 32 week pregnancy uh, life updates in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye.